Hello! Today's topic is affinity and focus farming, and some of the best ways to get it. For those unfamiliar with focus, don't look into it unless you've completed the War Within quest, as it contains spoilers about Warframe's story, and it's not worth looking into, as you can only get focus after that quest is completed. We'll just start with the couple best ways, I think, to get experience, which is running a Daro with an Equinox or Equinox Prime, or doing ESO runs for leveling weapons. By using Equinox and some form of energy sustain, you can put all the Grenier asleep in a Daro, making them vulnerable to melee finishers and easy targets for headshots. This will give you a stealth multi as you kill them, which will give you a lot of bonus experience. Be sure to use a silenced gun or a bow so as not to alert any enemies that have maybe not been put asleep nearby, as you won't want to ruin your stealth combo by killing an alerted enemy. You'll also want to one-shot the Grenier, as they will be alerted otherwise, breaking the chain and making a run much less effective. If you successfully do the mission like this, you can often get a Warframe or weapon fully leveled in just a couple of runs. Leveling a Warframe will require a friend or somebody in the party running Equinox and putting the enemies to sleep for you. The other method of doing ESO runs absolutely requires at least a friend or a party. Using a properly set up Volt, Saren or Mirage can make these runs really good for farming affinity for allies, as they will gain a lot of affinity uh, from the enemies that the carry frame is slaying, assuming they stay within affinity range. This does mean the carry will gain no affinity on any weapons they bring in, so this strategy is best taken in turns, assuming the whole group wants to level gear this way. If you are being carried by someone, then affinity will be split amongst all the gear you have equipped. So going in without some of your gear will funnel more experience into whatever you may be trying to level. The downside is that you have to have a level 30 frame, so you won't be able to level a Warframe here like you would in Adaro. For those looking to get the most out of these runs, you'll want to look into affinity multipliers as these will allow you to double your affinity gains for their duration. The most consistent being an affinity booster, which you can acquire through a daily login, sortie, or a rare crate reward. You can also buy it for plat if you have the plat to spend. Another less consistent method is to take advantage of the occasional double affinity weekend or event whenever it comes up. And there's also the Smita Kvalt's charm buff, which has a chance to give you a 2 minute affinity and pick up boost. The Kvalt will also not attack or aggro to any enemies unless they are alerted, making it safe to bring into a Daro if you're sleeping all the enemies and they're not being alerted to you. All of these give a 2 times affinity multiplier, which stack multiplicatively. Meaning, if you got all of them at the same time, you could get 8 times affinity. However, the most consistent buff to affinity gain would be the Stealth Multiplier, as it gives up to 500% increased affinity gain, essentially a 6 times multiplier if you get it stacked all the way up. And if you decide to use a melee weapon for your stealth kills, it actually gives you twice the affinity, so essentially a times 12 multiplier. This is part of what makes Adaro so good if you're able to run it with an Equinox, as you can consistently guarantee the stealth kills even on groups of enemies. The other part of it is that it's one of the highest level zones on the star chart, and affinity gains are based on enemy level. Though with True Steel coming out, there might soon be a higher level zone that will be better and easier to farm. If you start to add any of the other bonuses, you can start to see how explosive the amount of affinity you can gain is. Assuming I did my math right, the best case scenario should be something like 96 times affinity for a melee stealth kill. This obviously won't be possible to do all the time, but even just getting 24 times affinity makes it really easy to level an item in under 10 minutes. For those of you who have finished the War Within and are trying to get focus cap for the day, these methods are really fantastic. Focus is gained through a lens being in a weapon or warframe, and it takes a percentage of the excess affinity or the affinity gained past that particular gear's level cap and converts it into focus. There are different tiers of lenses, and getting a Lua lens, for instance, over a basic lens will make it significantly more efficient. Placing a lens for focus on the carry warframe in ESO, for instance, can make a great way to farm focus as Warframe abilities landing kills funnels 100% of the experience to the Warframe, meaning you only need a single lens in this case. In Adaro, you'd want a lens on the Warframe and the weapon that you're using, as all the focus is going to be going onto those. And with focus, you'll notice the spawning of Convergence Orbs, the yellow orbs, which if you pick them up for the next 45 seconds, your focus gains are multiplied times 8. 
which makes it really great to stack with all of the aforementioned affinity multipliers. And you can, stacking many of these multipliers with, say, a Lua lens, get all of your daily focus in just under an hour. And that is everything I really have to say on the topic. Thank you all for listening. If you have any feedback for me, questions, or suggestions, please feel free to let me know in the comments section. You can also use the subscribe or notification buttons below if you'd like to be kept up to date on any videos that I make. Regardless, I hope you have a